Hey there, this is Joel Rich with another Maximus Speed tutorial. This video is the third part in a series of tutorials I'm doing with the Groove Object. This one I'm making it play kind of like a sampler. And it's pretty cool. But if you don't know what's going on, then you should watch one of the earlier videos. It will, it will make more sense. Okay, so I'm going to figure out a way to play this a little bit like a sampler. I'm going to make a key slider. Okay, slider. There we go. The key slider outputs MIDI values out this put output here. And instead of MIDI values, I want to translate that to something useful. I'm going to go M to F. So MIDI to frequency. And what does that look like? So if I hit A, 220. Okay, so the frequency of A, this A here is 220. And I'm going to say that A is my normal speed value. And how do I tell Groove? that that is happening well I'm gonna make a little math make it the math and I'm gonna divide that uh, that number by 220 so every time it says 220 it's gonna to go to 1 and yeah that will play it at normal speed which one's on now I can go one octave up octave down and I can also yes, I can play it like a sampler now. Cool. All right. So how do we make this even cooler? Well, I don't know. Let's let's find out. Um, let's just copy all of this crap again and put it over here. And I'll hit loop because I have to hit it. Have to hit it. Uh, and I'm going to uh, put this over here, and I'm going to send this to another note. Let's say one seventh. So yeah, E is one seventh from A, or a seventh note. It's a seventh note from A. I guess that's the correct term. I don't really care if it's the correct term. So there we go. Now there's two things playing, and I can uh, I can change the I can play them individually. Hey, why don't we just you know why don't we just keep going? Just uh, I don't know where I'm going to put the next one actually. Oh, that's messy. Okay, okay, we'll do this. We'll figure it out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this one's, this one's good. Loop one. Oh. This is a frustrating thing to do about there. Sometimes it doesn't want to work properly. Sometimes we hit loop one and then it won't cooperate. So sometimes, sometimes adding or subtracting of objects will create like a little jump start. Okay, that's working. There we go. For our, uh, two octaves up. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now here's, here's a neat trick. Um, so I told record to loop, and if I just sort of like now turn it on to recording and move on again, let's move this a little bit. Hello, I'm going to record, and it's going to constantly record over and over and over again, and you can hear that as I record, it, it keeps picking up samples and uh, turning them into something. Okay, I'm going to... Alright, so that's it for the Groove Object tutorial. I hope you found this useful. And until next time, keep making weird noises. Okay, bye. Alright, so
Reboot. Keep making Reboot. Bye.